Upon the reveal of Pokemon Legends Arceus, the internet collectively shouted that this was Pokemon's Breath of the Wild moment, taking the tried and true formula and switching it up for a much more open world. Now if you just clicked on this video to rush into the comments and be like, oh it's not like Breath of the Wild, it's like Monster Hunter, blah 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 blah. Like okay, I hear you gameplay wise, but look at that reveal trailer and tell me they weren't trying to invoke Breath of the Wild vibes. As a music geek, my thoughts immediately jumped to if the Arceus soundtrack would also harken back to Breath of the Wild. And after sitting with it for a while, I can conclusively say, eh, a little bit, kinda sorta, sometimes. Let's chat for a bit. Of all the tracks I've listened to, this music from Obsidian Fields reminds me the most of Breath of the Wild by far. It follows the same formula as some of the music you'll hear quite often over in Hyrule. A big old rolled chord from bottom to top followed by some very atmospheric noodling over and over, resulting in a very free feel, not something you really feel in strict time. One major difference between the two games is their placements in the overall continuities. Breath of the Wild takes place at the tail end of the Zelda timeline, while Arceus takes place way back in the past. I certainly wouldn't describe Breath of the Wild's music as very futuristic sounding, but its sparseness, often just a piano and a little woodwind instrumentation, is not a reflection of when it takes place, but of the wide open environment. Contrast that with Pokemans, and you'll ironically find that the Arceus soundtrack actually sounds a bit more futuristic in a way. Very often the lead instruments, the ones carrying the melody, are old sounding instruments like ancient woodwinds and strings but they are sometimes surrounded by rock band instrumentation. This Cormarine City remix, used in the game as the Sunrise theme, is a perfect example. So it has that primitive vibe intact at its core, but still amps it up with everything else. Brass is occasionally used in the forefront in Arceus, like in the Rank Up music, but in ancient times, here in the real world that is, those instruments were only used by nobility, so they aren't instruments we often associate with the time period. Actually, using it in the Rank Up fanfare kind of makes sense in that way. It's like you're becoming more noble since your rank is going up, or something like that. So all in all, the score for Breath of the Wild was composed with the sparseness of the open world in mind, and a heavy emphasis on piano as its backbone, interjected with some winds here and there. In an interview you can find included in the Japanese release of the Breath of the Wild soundtrack, sound designer Wakai states, In the other Zelda games there have been other instruments, such as harps and ocarinas becoming key items during the game, so the main instruments I initially thought of were portable. It might be a little crazy, but I also thought of a dulcimer. Laughs, ha 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 ha. But the idea with changing the usual Zelda score was to express this feeling of a large open world. So I thought, isn't it okay to use a large instrument that isn't necessarily portable? In the end I decided on a piano, which hasn't been used much in the series to date. The composers for Pokemon Legends Arceus seem to have taken a different route, resulting in some fusion-like tracks. But in the pursuit of exploring primitive sounds in combination with the more open-ended nature of the game compared to other Pokemon games, 
there was definitely some overlap as we've demonstrated here. Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other.